Hello, I'm Melinda. I am Dr. Owen, and I think you should take a seat in my office. I have your file here along with your test results, and um, we have some bad news. According to some of the testing we brought you in for, you have type 2 diabetes. Now, you may be wondering what that is. You see, I've prepared a board up here. Type 2 diabetes is just uh, when the uh, body produces insulin, but it doesn't work. So, people who have diabetes, type 2 diabetes have to like sometimes inject themselves with insulin. Um, and it can have serious consequences if you don't try to uh, live a healthier lifestyle. Like, it can lead to amputation, or then heart disease, and a bunch of other problems. So, uh, I suggest in order to uh, benefit yourself, you do uh, more exercising and uh, eat a healthier diet. I could give you a type 2 diabetes cookbook if you would like. But, um, yes, uh, that is all. I will. I would like to see you back here in a few weeks to check your progress. Okay. Sounds good? Thank you. It was nice meeting you. And I will see you soon. This is a story all about how I turned my unhealthy life around. I'd like to tell you how I got from fat to fit. Just sit back and only take a few minutes. On the west side of Cleveland, born and raised, at McDonald's was where I spent most of my days. Sitting around, eating burgers and fries. Seeing me lazy wasn't a surprise. Eventually I started to feel unwell. My hands tingled and my feet swelled. I was always hungry and my mom got work. So they're going to the doctor and you better hurry. Begged and pleaded that I was fine. She still made me go and I didn't want. I realized I was tired because I looked at myself and I changed my habits to have good health. I was really thirsty and I didn't know why. I drank a lot of water, but my mouth was still dry. My vision became blurred without any explanation. My mouth all night with frequent urination. I went to the doctor so I got diabetes, a problem caused by lifestyle and obesity. It's not contagious like lice or fleas, but many are still affected by this disease. Two types of diabetes, one and two. One is where the body produces low insulin for you. It's not caused by other factors except by your genes. It occurs mostly in children preteens. But two is where the body resists insulin. It's much more common than the millions. It usually occurs in adults over 40, especially those who lack physical activity. How can diabetes affect me? I can become blind and then I can't see. If my blood sugar levels get too high. If my kidneys get damaged, I can fail or die. Diabetes puts you at risk for a heart attack. Your nervous system can get out of whack. It can lead to limb amputation. This is an epidemic across the nation. Don't worry, there are methods of prevention. Watch what you eat. Better pay attention. Cut back on sodas and the sweets. Limit junk food. Save them for treats. Exercise at least 30 minutes a day. For beginners, walking is an easy way. If you have diabetes, you can't complain. Your blood glucose levels have to be maintained. Come on in, take a seat. Um, I was just uh, looking up your file on the computer, but let me get a hard copy out. Yeah, um, according to this chart here, it seems that since the last time I've seen you, you've been uh, improving. I see you've taken up my suggestions about dieting, and uh, I see you've uh, done some more physical exercise, which is good. Good. Again, I suggest you continue taking insulin because there's not really a cure for type 2 diabetes. As of, uh, as of this moment in uh, time, but aside from that, things are looking good. I think you will live a healthy life based on this. I suggest you keep doing this uh, stuff and uh, physical exercise and dieting, but aside from that, everything looks good. You will need to check up with uh, the doctors um, more than you would have had you not had type 2 diabetes, but I think you're doing fine. So. Congratulations, it was nice seeing you again, and I may see you soon. Thank you.